Um, yeah, I think you kind of got to, but you're always looking out for looking out for the announcement, and you know, you never quite know. Um, there can always be some shocks or some upsets. So, I was looking at the squad, you know, intently and, and hoping I was in it. But yeah, I was, I was confident, and um, obviously been working all season to, towards it. So yeah, I was glad to see my name in there. Really well, I like it. It's a big change from gloves of the of the past and. Than, than anything else on the market at the minute. So it's going to take a lot of people some time to get used to. Um, Nike are always pushing boundaries, always trying to find something else to, to create and, and, and start the new wave of, of gloves or boots or wherever it may be. And um, yeah, I've really enjoyed it so far. I have, I have. I think um, a lot of gloves in the past or on, on the market these days can have a lot going on. Um, the, maybe don't fit in certain areas and things like that. So I think one of the main benefits of the Touch Elite is that it's such a, you know, if you use the pun, a glove-like fit, it really is. There's nowhere on the glove that's baggy. Um, it's tight and you don't find yourself playing with it and readjusting stuff. It fits really well. So um, that's certainly been one of my favorite aspects about it. You know, the latex and the grip goes along with all other uh, night gloves. It's, it's brilliant. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's one of the biggest pluses for me is that real tight locked-in fit. I do seem to put everything right side on first, so I always go right sock first, right shin pad, right boot, right glove. Um, so yeah, that would be uh, my, probably my only superstitions when it comes to pre-game routines, but um, yeah, I always seem to do the right side first. It's good, it's good. I think if you've, uh, if you've been around training or seen any of us training yet, you see the moods, moods really high. Um, you know, people are wound up pretty tight as well, so you know, people are not afraid to have a pop at each other and things like that. I think that's a sign of a good squad, um, players that are willing to, to push each other and, and we obviously have a great, a great laugh while doing it as well. And I think that's the mark of a good squad and, and certainly believe that the boys here are, are up for it and, and I'm certainly excited as well. There is a WhatsApp group. Um, there is a couple members of staff in it that, that feed us uh, information or any changes to the plans during the day. So. Occasionally it ramp, ramps up and, and they've kind of got to get involved, but um, it, it's, it's good spirited and I think everyone needs a WhatsApp group. Oh, it, it depends, it depends. You've got Stones, you can be someone that, you know, he's, he's the joker or kind of prats around a little bit, but then you've got Vards who's not afraid to, to do anything. Um, so there, there's, there's plenty of different characters across the group that aren't afraid to, to cause a bit of havoc every now and again. No roommates, no roommates. We've kind of got our, our own rooms, which is nice, so you can get a break from get a break from people and have your own time in your room. Um, so yeah, no roommates. As far as to choose one, I'd, I'd pick very carefully because I think your downtime is an important time. So uh, for that reason, I probably wouldn't pick Vards because I'm pretty sure he wouldn't let me get much sleep. So um, I'll have to have a think about it.